So, I planed these boards from rough sawn to a little over final thickness yesterday. Now I've let them settle overnight and now it's time to plane them to final thickness just before the joinery. It's always good to let the boards settle just before you cut joinery or glue boards together or move on to the next stage. And you want the boards to move because if the board moves how it wants before the final plane, then once you've made the piece it's less likely to move in the future if it's already done all the movement it wants to. I hope that makes sense. So the dominoes are now cut and the reason I went for dominoes is because I want all the attraction and all the attention on the piece to go to the top which is this really detailed mosaic and I think if there were splines in the corners that's just unnecessary detailing. So now that's done that's going to be very strong I'm going to cut a groove in the sides to fit the top and bottom. Alright, so the lid is fitting into the groove really nicely straight from the saw. If it wasn't, what I would do is I'd get some masking tape and I'd stick a whole strip of that on the side of the fence. Then I'd run all the pieces through again and that thickness of masking tape should offset the board just enough to cut the groove a little bit wider and make the lid fit nicely. You don't really want to release the fence and nudge it with your hand because if you go too far, then you've lost the original position of the fence. So you want to keep that in the same place add some masking tape and that should make the groove just wide enough.
So that is the box complete. I hope you like it. I really like that black trim on the inside of the box, so I think I'm going to do that more often. This was actually a commission, and this was for my client's partner's 50th birthday present. And she likes playing the violin, she likes flowers, and those were her initials. So that's why that was on the mosaic. If you're interested in commissioning a custom mosaic box, or anything else for that matter, then feel free to contact me through my website. A link to that will be in the description down below. Before you go, I've got some news. I've just become Latham Timbers brand ambassador, which is really exciting. They've got a lot of cool and innovative products that I can't wait to try out. I can't wait to show you and I can't wait to build stuff with on the channel. So a lot of good stuff to come, thank you Latham. And if you're interested in checking out their full product range then a link to their website will be in the description down below. So thank you for sticking to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it feel free to give it a like. If you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe. If you want to support the channel please give it a share. And if you want to get exclusive content, that's it, then feel free to become a patron. I'd really appreciate that. So. Thank you again, and I'll see you very soon for the next video.